Hey guys, today I'm going to give you a full tutorial on how to perform a nuclear reaction in combat initiation. I'll also show you what to buy in each shop, and what gears to choose in order to perform as many of these as possible. Nuclear reactions are really good at dealing with massive crowds of enemies who vary in HP and abilities. They're pretty difficult to perform at first, but once you master it, getting an S rank and points is very easy. To activate a nuke, you're going to need a sword, rocket, and a time bomb. To start, select the sword and the rocket launcher when you first spawn in. Then just play the game normally until wave 5. At the end of wave 5, buy the time bomb from the store. You now have the bare necessities to activate a nuke. There are two methods to land this, stationary and moving. For stationary, first go in first person and look to the sky as far as you can. Throw the time bomb above you, hit it with your sword, and then shoot a rocket at the flying bomb to make the nuke. In, the, in these clips, I shoot the rocket quite early, but if you're having trouble, you can let the bomb drop a little further down before shooting it. For the other method, just do the same thing I described, but move towards the direction the bomb is dropping in first person. Once you think you have a good shot, fire the rocket and it should work. As long as you don't miss, of course. Which you will do probably a lot. I'd say I make only these like 50% of the time, and that's with an hour or two of practice in-game. Reactions are best for crowds, but they also do work on bosses and giants. I don't recommend trying to nuke giants unless there are multiple of them grouped up. You can nuke the wave 10 boss, but it does about as much damage as one or two rockets, so I suggest to just try and throw time bombs at him for a much larger damage output. Nuking the captain and vagabond is optional, as the larger brass blast radius might make it easier to hit them with their insane movement. But the captain doesn't really move based on the player, unlike vagabond, so it's not the best idea to try to land one on him. After beating waves 10 and 20, you have the option to choose a gear. The best gears in my opinion are the decoy, zombie staff, and any healing item. Decoy and Zombie Staff divert melee enemies' attention, allowing you to land more nukes without disruptions. And the healing items are just for any bad situations you may put yourself in. My full progression for this loadout is to first buy the Time Bomb at wave 5, and then buy the Bazooka at wave 20. Wave 25 gives you another 100 ticks to then buy the Katana. The Bazooka is extremely strong because you're only limited by the Time Bomb's cooldown, and you can rocket jump yourself away from danger. The Katana takes up the rest of your ticks for the run, and the lifesteal and increased fire rate are very useful. So that's it. Hope this guide fully explained reactions and how to use them. Like, subscribe, whatever. Just thank you for your time at least. Thanks for watching and goodbye.